there, and welcome to another episode of the Astartes Anonymous podcast, where I'm being joined by a travelling midget, a violent sociopath, and a man with computer skills so poor that I get more and more desperate to consume bleach each day. Today, we're doing a shorter episode because we've got an extra large episode planned for you all on the 12th of May, covering our big meetup here in England and at Warhammer World. I'm your host, Tom, and here are my co-hosts. (laughs) <laughs> Hello everyone, my, my name is Lucas, better known as Moots Hello, I'm Red and I'm eating cocoa butter uh, Hello, I'm Alan, also known as the cosmic entity known as a Shoggoth Thank you, thank you In an effort to give you guys a fun but short episode today We've shamelessly stolen an idea from a Reddit meme So today we'll be discussing what would happen if each heresy era Primarch was your lawyer So Here's your prompt. On the hive world of Dick Butt 7, of which you reside, you have been arrested for the murder of a fellow hiver. There is little evidence to your guilt, though the judge and jury are out for your blood. However, to your surprise, your public defender is the Emperor's own son, one of the Lord Primarchs. You confide in your defender that you did in fact commit this crime. However, To impress his father, the Emperor, your nine-foot-tall lawyer must win this case. There are seven categories from best to worst. Innocent and uh, venerated, the holy ending. Found innocent, the good ending. Cleared by technicality, the exile ending. Conscripted into the Imperial Guard, the war ending. Straight up executed, the bad ending. Turned into a servitor, the hell ending. And finally, the didn't make it to trial, the sad ending. The flayed ending. Uh, Gentlemen, if you would discuss. First up, we have Father Conrad Curse. If you've ever told him that you committed a crime, you're not making it to the trial. Yeah, no, he's, um... That's just st- straight to uh, straight straight to the flay zone right there. It's it's the hidden it's the hidden eighth ending. You die. <laughs> you no. They would find your skinned corpse nailed to the wall of the room you were previously seen in with the Primarch of the Eighth Legion. Basically, you just uh, you you get your uh, Primarch lawyer. Uh, it, it's Conrad Curse. You you kind of hesitate uh, for a bit, but then you finally decide. You know what? What's the worst can happen? You tell him that <laughs> you know. Hey, man. You know what? I actually did kill. And as before, you even managed to finish your sentence. He has flayed you, <laughs> uh, dried your skin, and turned you into a mat. <laughs> Pulled your spine out, predator style. Just put it on his armor. <laughs> Why not? Just, just walks into a, into the courtroom with a new skin cloak, going, "Gay did it. Gay did that. Is it? That was the guy. Don't worry about it. I sorted it." Don't worry, people of the of the Imperium. I have found out he was a criminal. I've taken care of it personally. <laughs> I'm off, and then he flies out the window. No, this is that scene. He enters the courtroom like the field marshal Zukov from the Death of Stalin, the cloak, but it's just your skin instead. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, I love that movie so much. So we can some we we can somewhat comfortably give, cause. That didn't make it to trial. Sad ending. Of course. Um, yeah, it, it, it was it was made for him. So it's... <laughs> technically, you got executed. So it would be a bad ending. I feel. No, 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 no. That's that's what this one's for. He didn't even make it to the execution. Oh, he didn't okay, make it to the okay, courtroom, okay. mate. It 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 is the night lord way. And he goes. That's totally fair. Totally understandable. I think. And next up is uh, Angron. My boy. I think Angron is gonna give you the hell ending. I think it's served to time. Because whilst he may at one point have been the most empathetic Primarch, the Butcher's Nails make it impossible for him to put together a coherent legal argument. The absolute (laughs) best case scenario you can hope at, hope for, sorry, is him shouting uh, at the judge and jury. I do not see it going particularly well. I don't even see you becoming a servitor. He's just going to kill you in one of his many signature bloodthirsty raid rages. <laughs> I was going to say, he'll raise a point, the prosecution will counter it, and he'll just fling into a rage and kill everyone in the room. <laughs> and there's not much you can now, do about that one. Well, 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 that's fair. I went a different route. You see, I think he's probably on trial there with you for murder. 
and uh, <laughs> and if somehow it wasn't, he will get you thrown onto the executioner's block so fast you won't have time to say Nukerian bastard before your head hits the floor. <laughs> you somehow swap places where you're defending Angron for the hordes of people he's killed <laughs> compared to the one you've killed. And it's like, hmm. Yeah. Wait, exactly. wait, wait a minute. <laughs> We got one for bad ending, one for the hell ending, and one for the sad ending. What do you reckon, Red? Do you want to tiebreak it for us? I I was the bad ending. You were the bad ending. So you got two two for bad ending. Uh, I oh, so I would say bad ending. Bad yeah. That's fair. That's entirely. Oh, okay. fair. You're getting killed. Yeah, I mean that's it. <laughs> that's it. You just don't know how, by who and when. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He'll make it quick if it's him. It'll be quick though. He's a wild card. We lo- we love anger on here, but we we need to be r- realistic. Don't you lock me in in that category. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, Angron's a cool fella, but he's he's not gonna make a particularly profound solicitor. Sadly, he's such a nuanced soul, though. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that nuance stretches to criminal law. <laughs> so next up, we have Corvus Corax. So I have one that you guys will probably disagree with. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. But I think he's going to get you executed because he'll start talking about something, but he tries, he gets so lost in trying to make a point that it just circles back around to meaning nothing. And the jury's so confused, they're just like, just execute you. Uh, <laughs> it's, I won't give any spoilers, but I've got a funny one for a different primate later on where it's the same thing. But they get so bored of listening to it, they let you off. <laughs> I want to okay. say good ending. Mm. Corvus isn't dumb, and he's very much so a shady fellow, so I feel like he'd know exactly how to get you out of it, sort of thing, because it's very much so his regular business. As, as, as well as the fact that he is actually, like, driven to, like, um, God, what's it called? I forgot the word. Uh, like, uh, justice. He is n- not as hardcore as uh, uh, Conrad Kurz, of course, but, I mean, his whole uprising... Uh, up, uh, on uh, whatever his uh, home planet is called uh, was about, you know, being with prisoners mm. and uh, uh, being raised among them. So, I mean, I, I think I'd have to go with the good ending. I think he'll uh, get get mm. you proven, like, you know, free of charges. I've got him down for um, uh, exile ending. I think, I think it's going to be kind of a... Uh, I think he'll 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 convince the jury that it was self defense. You know, it won't be a glorious <laughs> sort of hey, you still killed someone. They didn't need to die, but you were defending yourself. You know, I reckon, I reckon I could see Corvus swinging that argument. Maybe, maybe, but okay. See it this way though. I mean, he is the master of sn- uh, sneaking. I think, al- al- although we have some who will definitely probably do this on the, this list i think he if anything could possibly just get you on uh the uh get you freed of all charges just because he'll like find some dirt on all the jury members and uh just in case you know Ooh, if he doesn't i mean uh, I, I believe yeah but we've got another primark later on who could do that without blinking <laughs> definitely, definitely so what have we got we've got two for found innocent we got two for the good ending, one for exile, and one for executed. I think that puts our average at exile. What do we think? Yeah, that'll be like high tier exile. Mm. Let's p- let's put our uh, little Raven Man <clears throat> up here. I, I, I get I get what you guys mean. Just a small birdie boy. <laughs> I get what you mean. I just I'm not sure because I know the kind of primarchs I'm thinking are going to be able to make you found found innocent or a holy ending, you know. And I think there are some that are more skilled than Con uh, not Conrad, the skilled than Corvus. Anyways, let's move on to the Ferris Manus. Hell ending, oh, service yes. time. Let's iron go. Iron hands. Who leads the iron hands? And he has iron hands. <laughs> <laughs> Hell ending. Hell ending. If you are weak enough to be caught, and you don't deserve your full cognitive functions anyway. Remember though, these guys. Th- these guys aren't letting you off because they want to let you off. They're letting you off because they want to impress Dad. Yeah? I have written down that he just doesn't see as a good use of his time, but he can make a pretty cool servitor out of you. (laughs) (laughs) This servitor was a murderer. Very cool. (laughs) It has gold plating, Father. It's perfect for the Imperial powers. (laughs) It's kind of funny because I think you'd end up with the conscripted slash war ending. I think Ferris is 
intelligent and resourceful enough to get you innocent and off the hook. But I think he would also choose not to do that if he knows that he could make an outcome where you have to go to war and prove that you deserve to live. To be honest, Ferris is also mm. as blunt as they come. I was thinking on a more serious note, it'd be uh, war ending, for sure. Yeah. I'm thinking war ending. What, what, what do you two think? Servitor time. Yeah, I honestly think it's still servitor time. <laughs> In fact, he'd be the one to turn you into the servitor. <laughs> do it himself. Let's be honest. Get dead. Yeah, he'd so do I'm it in you, front of the jury. Uh, butchers, you get dead. So yes, <laughs> well that's 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 not too bad, I suppose. I guess he does. You do get executed with with Ferris. I can kind of, I can kind of see what you guys mean. I can I can kind of see what you mean. Right, next up, probably be more accurate to Pachirabo, To be fair. Well, we'll we'll get there when we get Ooh. there. Hold hold on, boy. Oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> next up is Fulgrim. Innocent and venerated. This man is so charismatic. He's going to somehow make the jury think you're a saint. He probably fucked the whole courtroom before entering to get you off the hook. So yeah, <laughs> I'd say I'd say I'd say innocent. I wouldn't say venerated, but I'd say you're innocent. As soon as they see like the holy form that is the phoenix of the emperor's children, they're going to just. Be enamored, too enamored with him when he starts talking that they're going to completely forget about the trial. I got something similar, but with different. I got something very similar, but actually puts him lower. I've written. You get the war ending with Fulgrim because he could easily make some compelling arguments. He's charismatic, not quite as charismatic as some of the others, but he's charismatic. But his inability to not be a narcissist <laughs> would blunder the case in some way. That's the the same route I'm taking on this. Um... I, I think he will somehow try and prove he's the best and most perfect lawyer of all times, but uh, lacking any kind of actual uh, knowledge about law, he'll uh, fudge it uh, in some way. He ain't no Phoenix right. That's for sure. <laughs> Precisely. So, um, I don't know. I, I, I think... I was actually like leaning towards. Uh, I'm I'm probably leaning towards uh, cleared by technicality, if anything. The technicality is his abs. <laughs> <laughs> his beautiful face, <laughs> that that chiseled chin, those flowing locks. See, this is it. You, the, the 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 jury's just going to be focused on that shit. <laughs> just walks in shirtless. <laughs> You're like, all right, <laughs> fine. I guess we'll release him. If I must. <laughs> Yeah, I think to cut the difference, you just found innocent. Sorry, so what have we got? We've got one for conscripted. That's one for me. Uh, technicality. Are you for technicality. What about you, Aaron? What are you? Uh, innocent. What about you, Red? I'm innocent and venerated. Oh, that is that's oh, a four way split. Oh, we need a tiebreaker for that. So he's definitely innocent or cleared by technicality. I say innocent. Just yep, innocent. Hmm. Because Aaron said, because Aaron says you're found innocent, and I'm in innocent and venerated, so I think that swings it more towards you're just found innocent. He's a low, you found innocent, good ending. Yeah, we'll put others ahead of him. Okay, I'm okay with yep. that. Fair, fair. I'm okay with that. God damn, so it is all about looks. <laughs> <laughs> of course. We, God, we judge people with our eyes, not the content of their character. Ugh. <laughs> Fulgrim uh, is prettier hell, than most yeah. women, let's be honest. He is. Oh, he is. God, you could imagine him and him and Ferris being shoved into the same situation and then being both of them being convinced that the other is going to come out on top. Who's the defend who's the defending lawyer? Is it uh Fulgrim or Ferris? No, 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 they both go in at the same time doing the exact same trial but for different people doing the same thing and they're both looking at each other thinking, "Oh, we're both going to get this. We're both going to get this." <laughs> Yeah, you know what? If it, if that was the case, they wouldn't do it to impress the emperor. They'd do it to try and impress each other. That's <laughs> the course. only way you're going to get Ferris to actually defend you. If they you. knew they were competing, both of them would have been venerated. If they knew they were competing, yeah, they both probably. would have been all the way up there at the top. Oh, that's funny. They could if even if Conrad Kurz was the person they're defending, they would have gotten this and venerated. <laughs> if anyone could do it. Imagine them as like a lawyer team working together. <laughs> I don't think anyone else on this list could top that. Oh hell yeah! All right, Moots, I put that on the art board. We got uh, <laughs> we got Fulgrim and Manis, lawyers at law. Yeah, do, do them like hell the, yeah. um, Do them like the um, 
what's it? Uh, Daredevil. Yeah, what's it called? Murdoch and um, yeah. Mur- Mur- Murdoch and that's Nelson. It. Nelson and Murdoch. That's it. Hell but it's, oh it's, yeah, Nelson and Murdoch. <laughs> it's it's Fulcrum and Manus. <laughs> 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 welcome to the uh, welcome to the Iron Phoenix Law Firm. That actually sounds so prestigious. <laughs> oh my god! We don't care what crime you committed. We're getting you off the case, <laughs> <laughs> and Fulgrim will get you off. Oh no! Oh wait, wait no! My, oh yes, comes I, in. Oh whoa! whoa, whoa you will. Well. You have some pretty damning evidence, but I think I can forge a weapon to take care of that. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's shimmy on to Big Bobby G, the most competent man in the galaxy, uh, robot gorilla girl. I wouldn't say the most competent. There's someone else that's more competent than him. We better not be talking about Kurz again. He's just because he's more efficient doesn't mean he's more competent. <laughs> <laughs> I have written for a uh, robot gorilla that he gets the good ending because whilst being a skilled spokesman his sort of meticulous nature uh would make the case drag on for so long of all the details that the judge and jury would decide that it would be in their best interest to just fold to whatever plea he's making (laughs) i have very similar thoughts but they probably just exile you because though he's a damn good negotiator he would probably find a workaround of the actual crime. No, I can see that. And it would probably go on for so long, it would continue into a mistrial and get dismissed. <laughs> I mean, I'm still on Found Innocent. I can't believe that that Fulgrim could could make you Found Innocent and Gilliman couldn't. Because Fulgrim is just a pretty man. I kind of agree with the exile ending, because Gilliman, with his sort of sense of justice, he would do it in a way that benefits him, getting you... Um, the sentence he thinks you deserve that's still beneficial to himself proving himself to father in this sort of context. So I'll go with Exile because it's still... No, I could get that. It's, it's, yeah. You're still getting some sort of punishment, but it's not death. You still want it, in a mm. sense. What about you, Moops? I uh, I was thinking Innocent because I I was kind of like on the meme flip side of it. I was thinking the same way of, uh, as you. He'll probably drown the courtroom in so much paperwork that they either let you go on the spot <laughs> or drown in paper, whichever comes first. Um, but uh, the serious answer, I think, is the fact that I think he is so. He's probably so skilled in the art of bureaucracy that he will, like, have found every possible. Uh, well, law or whatever, that'll just uh, set you free. Yeah, I mean, if we if we take a serious step back for a second and look at the lineup of Primarchs, if we were going to take bets on who would be most likely to become a lawyer in a normal sense, it would be G-Man. Uh, and I think for th- I think for that sort of notion alone, I'd put him up to innocent rather than mm, technicality. That's fair. Mm, same. He he is he's definitely he fits the bill as he would probably work best as just as you say. A, Straight up normal lawyer, lawyer out of all the primaries. Yeah, I mean the the meme that I ripped this from. I'll put it on the screen. It literally just said "Better call Gilliman," <laughs> and I think the guy who put that meme together knew exactly what we're talking about right now. Uh, taking a step back to uh, Mooch's point about Gilliman yep. knowing like every single law, just makes you think of him going, "But your honor, um, your my client had his shirt off past ten p.m. in the middle of the night <laughs> in the park. It was legal to shoot that man with a bow and arrow, like the old wacky <laughs> English laws." That I've just forgotten about, but still perfectly intact. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Gilliman would take so long in this trial that he would find a way to rewrite the law of this world that this trial is being put on to get you up in his... Yeah, he just completely overpower the judge in the sense, just going, you are where I am, like, Lord Commander, right? This guy is, this guy is walking free. <laughs> Are we putting him ahead of or behind Fulgrim? I'd go ahead, I'd yeah. Right ahead of. Yeah, same. I would say behind because my idea that he didn't actually be a lawyer, he just <laughs> reworked the system. <laughs> I think that's, that's three for a head, but I do see what you mean. So once again, we have, and I know this picture is heresy era Horus, but this is not meant to be heresy era Horus, it's meant to be Great Crusade Horus. Uh, what are we thinking? 
I'm thinking innocent and venerated because uh, I I think even without because we're working under the assumption that none of these uh, the super uh, primarchs with their super charisma like any of those things work. So I I still think he just has so much fucking charisma yeah. that he would be able to uh, just swathe and uh, convince his way through the jury to release you on all charges. I've literally got written down, not only does Horus swiftly convince the court of the defendant's innocence, but also using his maxed out charisma stat, convinces them that the death of the Hiver was nothing but a huge <laughs> boon for the city, and that the defendant's role in his death, no matter how minor, was simply the Emperor's will. <laughs> Hell yeah. You just ripped off my notes. I just ripped off your notes. <laughs> All I have is he will not only convince the jury that you're innocent, but also the guy that died needed to be killed. For sure. <laughs> right. We're putting we're putting we're putting Your, your Honor, my client is simply a vindicatory assassin balls. killing his mark. It's 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 what happens. <laughs> 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 right, next up we've got the Khan. I have to confess the I've got hard nothing one, yeah. written for the Khan. I simply didn't even know where to begin. Okay, so I have something for the Khan. He'll clear you by a technicality, because I think the jury would be either scared of him, or uh, or that's just all he could possibly do, because he doesn't seem like a good negotiator, and he probably doesn't really care about this whole trial. No, but you see, here's the thing, here's the thing. I say he'll get you innocent and venerated, because... So, th this is the scene I'm imagining. Although he's the fastest of all the Primarchs, he will still arrive late... To the uh, uh, to the court with four speeding tickets, proceed to shoot down all the allegations against you. Do a grid in the middle of the courtroom and jump out of the window <laughs> before anyone can waste more of his time. And boom! I'm sorry, you got it. <laughs> but for making me think about a Primark doing the gritty, we your fucking answer is literally being discarded completely. He comes in running no! a razor scooter. Uh, that is criminal. Red, which which slot did you say he belonged in? Red. <laughs> He's clear by a technicality because he's just speed running this fucking trial. He does not care. He has better shit to do. Actually, I'm going to change my vote. I think based based on what you said, I put him he in just comes flying into the court into the courtroom like back first, like the Mario 64 stair glitch. <laughs> no, yeah, fa f yeah, fair enough with the whole good script. He's just going to walk in saying, "I don't really know. I think he killed him. Just send him to the guard and be done with it." <laughs> For sure, for sure. I mean, I, I love the Khan, but he's not lawyer material. <laughs> he was, he was always he more of your ass, than, though. Uh, the defendant. <laughs> Next up, we have the Forest Walker himself. I feel like it's the same argument with the Khan. <laughs> <laughs> and not only is he going to say, just send him to the Imperial Guard, he's going to go like, I'll just take him and put him on the front lines myself. <laughs> on his way I've out. I've got written bad ending. I've got executed for the lion. And my notes, I should have written more, but I've simply written, he does not give a shit. <laughs> he does not care. <laughs> I think in the way that the Khan is going to be efficient, get in there, clear him and get out. I think the lion would get in there, say to the judge, you guys can decide and then get out. He doesn't even show up. <laughs> Yeah, he doesn't even turn up. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! So the lion, yeah, I can, I think I can agree with that the lion just doesn't show up. That's fair. Yeah, I think that's bad ending. Yeah, yeah, uh, I, I think so too. He, he'll, he'll probably like convene some great uh, cabal of uh, lawyers uh, to like. Uh, <laughs> try and figure out what to do with you and then just uh, go to sleep <laughs> anyway so it's like <laughs> have my 10,000 be in that problems. let the watchers <laughs> deal with it <laughs> this is that, that's what happened this is why Logar not Logar sorry this is why Luther got bitter at the lion because whilst the lion was basically off doing this he was called for jury service or lawyer service in this case and sent Luther in his place and he was so embittered by this <laughs> That he fucking turned against the Emperor. Sent me to go do a trial for some random asshole yeah. on some stupid yeah, planet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the... Curse you, lion. <laughs> I'll, the lion I'll have my vengeance for this. Like, I forgot something. <laughs> nah, it's just him. It's just you in court going, but where is he? <laughs> <laughs> Weren't you going to turn up? 
<laughs> right, next we have uh, Lorgar. I have nothing for Lorgar, but he would probably yeah. get you innocent. I have some He's stuff very zealous, so I suppose good ending is probably quite accurate, yeah. I, I think he could very well get you uh, a good ending, but uh, even with my bias, I'd probably say exile. Uh, I, I think if I think he will move the jury enough that they like won't straight up execute you. However, you are now sentenced to live in exile for the rest of your life on a shrine world. Yeah, I think something similar. I think he has the potential to get you cleared, but um, his opening argument would be yes, he did it. However, and then he would convince them from that point onwards that you didn't deserve to get conscripted or executed. So I've written, I've written found innocent, but I've you've swayed me. I believe he would be exile. Yeah, he would, on technicality of religion or something. Yeah, <laughs> but your honor, he did it in the name of the God Emperor. <laughs> Is that so wrong? Now let us pray, and then he prays for like four hours. <laughs> Yeah, I can see that. Is he ahead of or behind Corvus? I'd probably put him ahead of Corvus if it was down to me. Ahead. Yeah, same. Ahead. Right, uh, one thing I forgot to mention at the start of this episode, everybody, is when we did our last Primarch tier list, we realized it was kind of bullshit. We did a tier list of the Primarch's sexual prowess. You can go watch that in the thing on the screen now. Essentially, Magnus cheated a little bit. Because Magnus has these wonderful psychic powers, and we've decided that for the purposes of this tier list, his psychic powers are nullified by the uh, Sister of Silence <laughs> sat in the gallery, <laughs> staring at him intently. Good fucking luck, Poindexter. Now, this one, if he had his powers, obviously it'd be holy ending. But about them, <laughs> it's going to be hell ending, like the, like the Warp Project, or the Mudway Project. See, that's what I, I've got. I've got for for Lorgar. I actually have got the hell ending because without that psychic intuition, yeah, I think he's just crumped. I think I think you're not going to do very well. Now you see, I think we got an IKEA situation on our hands. An he's IKEA gonna, situation. He's going to hold. <laughs> this comes in. I know I'm Swedish, but Jesus Christ! <laughs> comes in with the instructions on a bookshelf from IKEA. It starts building it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, please continue. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, you bastards. Uh, so, so I think he's going to hold the most emotional, passionate, and heart-grabbing speech ever, and everyone in the courtroom will be moved to tears and can't help but agree with him and his arguments. Then, after the jury has convened <laughs> with their verdict, they judge you as guilty and execute you. And uh, Magnus is left crying <laughs> over a, 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 at, at Prospero. <laughs> no, like as soon tower. as <laughs> Lehman catches wind that Magnus is defending someone, he's going to come in to be the guy that accuses you. <laughs> <laughs> Lehman is prosecuted. <laughs> Just burst in half drug saying, but he's cringe, just, Your Honor. It's just and the leaves. in a very tight RBT's outfit. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he's just standing there. It's like ill. It's like a child, like a man wearing child's clothing, bending the shock baton. And Meg's just like, Lehman, is that you? He's just like, shut up. Mm. <laughs> no nerd. You see, it's it's the bad ending, not because not because Magnus doesn't put up a good enough argument. It's the bad ending because as soon as you leave Magnus's sight, Lehman's gonna crush your fucking skull with that shock baton <laughs> out of spite for Magnus. Oh god! All right, I'm still I'm still putting my bets on the hell ending. Same here, what yeah. are we going for? To hell. To hell. Actually, bad ending. I, I'm, 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 just, I'm just going executed yeah. bad ending. Ooh, yeah. We need a tiebreaker, boys. Let's say he was executed. Is he ahead of or behind the lion? Does he do it so badly? Uh, it would average out, yes. That the lion literally not even turning it up It would average out, yes, because it's two for hell. So he's right at the end. I, yeah, <laughs> worse, because it's <sighs> Lehman that's killing I you. I think if that's the case, then, I think it's the hell ending. Yeah. I, <laughs> I think if that's the case, he goes the hell ending. Mm, still don't know. No. Hell. No one's gonna fault. Nope, yeah, hell ending. No one's gonna fault. We're gonna fault. Let's put him in the hell ending. Hell ending. Someone has to. That's <laughs> fair. We didn't need to because this. That's where this next one's fucking going. Next. Uh, next up is Mortarian. <laughs> not only. Not only does he not give a shit, like the lion, but he actively seeks to rebel, <laughs> thus making any defense totally fucking impossible. 
not only will he tell the jury that you did it, he'll tell them that you did it and you you meant to do it, and he'll 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 dig yeah, he'll you dig you into it. a fucking <laughs> hole as well. This guy's actually a night lord in training, <laughs> Your Honor. Like, I can get rid of it. <laughs> it's basically it's basically on the verge of didn't make it to trial, but uh... <laughs> no, he'll turn up. He'll turn, he'll up, turn up just to, to make it, just to make yeah. you look bad. It's just that he decided beforehand <laughs> that you, you weren't gonna make it. There, there, there should have been a whole new, a whole new tier underneath hell where it's like your servitor and everyone fucking hates you. Your servitor self now has to dig through sewage pipes. Of your your, your <laughs> toilet server <it> now, boy. <laughs> yeah, he walks in. He oh, did no. it. He liked it. He'll do it again. Turn into a servitor. Looks at you going, fuck Cue off, losing, fucking, and then walks like, out. Big ass walk <laughs> with more tally and walking out. <laughs> and he's probably a and he's probably a psyker as well. Yeah. So he's uh, even uh, worse than, than Magnus. He's gone behind done, him. Dusted. Oh yeah. Of course, of course. Next up, gentlemen, we have Perturabo. Now I can see a bunch of oh, different Helen. arguments for Perturabo. Nah, I could I could understand how Perturabo could get you found innocent, could get you conscripted, or could get you executed. All right, this is the man who read all of the stuff inside of Mars within like two weeks and learned more more than most tech priest dominuses. So he like read the entire law book of this hive city thirty minutes before the trial, and he's going to get you found innocent. <laughs> Yeah, I I'm running. I'm basically running the same argument. If nothing else, he's downloaded all of the law books he ever <laughs> needs straight into his fucking brain. And, In uh, fact, he he'll probably uh, find just... out that the someone on the jury has committed a crime as well. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure, for sure. It doesn't matter that there were free witnesses to your to your murder. It's just he'll get you. It's freed. like Gilliman, but somehow better. Yeah. Because yeah. it's to make the Emperor proud, right? So Gapurturab is going to fucking try his hardest. <laughs> yeah, I'm of the opposite. I think mm -hmm. he will absolutely get you a serv make you a servitor just to take you and use you for something else that he did servitor for. No, no. I think if he was going to, I think if he was going to do that, I think if he was going to do that, he'd put in just enough ep effort to get you fucking conscripted and use you as a fucking. Meat It'd be shield. evil. <laughs> evil one of those would be what I think. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to go with found innocent, the good ending. I can't justify anything else in my own mind, honestly. I think it's uh, found innocent as well. Yeah, found innocent. And the fucked up part is, after he did all this work, the Emperor is not even going to hear about it. He's going to be like, wait, what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> well, because Aaron will put him so far down, I'm going to put him at the ass end of found innocent. You were wasting your time defending a mortal. I told you to go to this battlefield. What are you doing, Perturabo? <laughs> Isn't that great? Perturabo would make a decent lawyer. Um, yeah, for sure. Most competent man in the universe. So now we've got Perturabo's bestest brother. The big boy himself. Rogel Dorn. Alright, if this is exclusively to make the Emperor proud, Rogel Dorn is going to find you innocent as well. It is his because number one priority. Has, ha, that is his number one priority right now. That man has nothing but <laughs> will inside of him. He's going to keep... He's going to... Keep the trial going until you are found innocent. Even if they're like, no, we'll just acquit it. He's just like, no, we're going to find the answers now. <laughs> so I think he'd be wholly animated. I think he'd do such a good fucking job just to prove the point. Nah, I don't think I don't think he's got the charisma to get up there, but I can see him being like the very tippity top of found innocent. He's much like his, uh, for, uh, his fortifying. He's going to have an airtight defense strategy. Yes. Absolutely. Of course, of course. Absolutely. He'll probably go on the offensive uh, at the actual prosecution. In the same way that Perturaba would find someone in the jury a criminal, he'd find the he'd find a way of making you believe the prosecutor is a criminal. <laughs> so what we think, it found innocent? Definitely. Your honor, the prosecutor is an iron warrior. <laughs> Clearly he cannot be trusted. I put holy ending. I, I personally, because of previously mentioned uh, um, charisma, put him into cleared by technicality uh, i think no 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 I, I i think so i think so yeah i think so because i think although he does care a lot uh, about uh, pleasing the emperor i just think that his super stoic and uh, stoic nature is just gonna not allow him to be more than just you're cleared because of technicality i do see what uh, you mean i do see what you mean 
Are you saying that the guy all about a defense is not going to be a good defense lawyer? <laughs> He's the greatest at defense. <laughs> just walk in and drop like a 2,000 page essay on why you're innocent on the fucking desk. Honestly, I, I can't budge from him being at the top of found innocent. What do you reckon, Aaron? Uh, I said holy ending because I think he's just got such like an iron will to him. He will get you there. I believe that that does average him in found innocent. Where do we reckon in found innocent? Above or behind Gilliman? Uh, I'd say behind Gilliman. Yeah. Just behind Gilliman? Like, yeah, it's going to divulge so into him saying, but he's guilty, and him <laughs> just going, no, he's not. Until they like, you're not guilty anymore. <laughs> court has... Uh, he is court guilty. Has ended no, no. Uh, yeah, a 20-hour trial. <laughs> right, so next up, we have... Um, oh, you're Lehman getting Russ. killed. Oh, you're dying. Lehman of the Russ. Executed or constrict. I, I say, but I have Russ isn't going to do a, uh, a great job. He's going to like give up trying halfway through and just say, you know what, <laughs> just send him to the front lines. He'll advocate for you to being sent to war. Actually, he's just going to get halfway through a sentence, fall apart, and be like, uh, yeah, I've, I've got no idea. I don't know what I'm doing. He's the kind yeah. of guy who will like it'll it'll be the whole you know conscripted because his his final closing argument will be send him to the front lines. It'll be good for him. <laughs> it'll be good for the economy. He'll become a man then. You know. So what do you reckon? Conscripted. Yeah. Conscripted. conscripted. Ahead of or behind a Khan? Oh, ahead. Behind. behind. Yeah, yeah. Behind. Like oh, it right, was a right. very poor argument. <laughs> uh, next up, we have another one that I had a really hard time making notes for. Sanguinius. I didn't manage to land on anything specific, but I, I said myself, he's either going to get you innocent and venerated, or executed. Because, like, just two extremes. But I'll, I'll, because I think he'll, with his, even without his super charisma, will be able to um, make convincing arguments and uh, make uh, uh, the, the jury, like, see you as being innocent. However... Uh, if for some reason he starts feeling guilty over lying or the entire situation, your ass is going to get executed. I think just found innocent. I feel like found innocent feels like a safe bet for Sanguinius. I think we could all be wrong, though. I think it's probably going to end up somewhere in the middle, technicality or conscripted. I can see it because a lot of people like to say that Sanguinius has charisma almost on par with Horus. Well, that that's the thing, though. That that's his charisma, as far as I understand, with his Primarch charisma, like his power power charisma, not his actual regular charisma, because he's just a pretty solemn and sad person, all in all, in general. I I, I just I I can't personally see him. Yeah, I think I <clears throat> yeah, I think I can agree with that. I think he'll probably do the bare minimum to make sure you don't fucking die. I see exile. Mm, same. It's agreeable. I I I think I think low. I think low honestly. Okay, where where on exile compared to these two some a blood angel I can hear a blood angel fan in this set. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're 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 upset we're upsetting more than just blood angel fans here, I'm just <laughs> saying. <laughs> Yeah, but Blood Angel fans are the most wrong. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Them's fighting words. Uh, space Wolves aren't too great either, man. See, that's the difference <laughs> between Night Lords and Blood Angels. We know our Primarch's fucking insane, and we love him. <laughs> yeah, Morty, Morty and Corvus aren't doing too great right now. So, next up, we have the, once again, the most huggable man in the galaxy, Vulcan of Nocturne. I, I say conscripted, because uh, for the first part of the trial, he'll hold probably hold a pretty good defense for you but towards the end he starts losing steam as he starts trying to justify your actions for the greater good but he's actually just projecting his mm. own feelings so <laughs> that's very agreeable that's very agreeable yeah honestly i think i could see him i could see him interpreting the sort of prompt a little bit differently huh. mm -hmm. i could see you getting executed with vulcan and let me explain vulcan because obviously you'll confide in Vulcan that you actually did the crime. And Vulcan will be like, right, okay, well, you know, you need to pay for that. But I'm just going to make sure you don't get turned into a servitor. Mm. And so I could see Vulcan being like, hey, you're all trying to impress dad. You guys are all trying to impress dad by getting your guy off scot-free. I'm going to impress dad by giving him what he actually fucking deserves and getting him fucking shot. <sighs> I <laughs> thanks Vulcan. I suppose that's true. I mean, judging by his character from the books, we know that he's kind of a hypocritical person. So how so? 
How, what's that? How so? Uh, how so? Yeah, how so? Source? Because, well, he had a discussion, actually, uh, with uh, uh, Curse about, like, uh, uh, Curse's actions. And, like, he lamented Curse for uh, slaughtering and torturing a bunch of people. Uh, and Curse's argument was basically, hey, at least I killed them quickly. You literally, you literally burn people alive. <laughs> and, uh, That's a fair statement. And, I'm sorry. And, and, and cur- and curse, curse does not kill people quickly. And, well, uh, I suppose in, in in the situation of the book, but uh, I I know it's not a reliable nar- narrator exactly. But uh, either way, Vulcan kind of spends most of the books just being sad and uh, angsty about his actions and tr- constantly justifying his actions uh, yeah. uh, as part of uh, something greater. Um, uh, to sort of add to that, I mean, obviously he's not stupid at all, um, but compared to the other Primarchs, he's not the sharpest His tool compassion sort of blinds a He bit, is yeah. a exquisite, or quite, he's an exquisite craftsman, but that doesn't necessarily translate to diplomatic intelligence or bureaucratic intelligence, so I think he would be quite low down. I'd say he'd probably get you exi- exiled at best. I'm still standing by executed. What do you two think? For me, it's for for me, it's that Vulcan's gonna somehow convince you that you should feel bad, then make you take a plea for yeah, the sent pretty, to war. Yeah, pretty very low <laughs> war ending. I agree with that. Yeah, I, think, I think so war? too. Cons- uh, conscripted. Ahead of or behind Lehman? I'll say probably ahead of Lehman. Yeah, it's a more, better idea. What ahead of what about the Khan? Ahead of or behind the Khan? Behind. In your mind. No, no, ahead of Piers. The Khan doesn't go there with any real intent, but Vulcan does. That's true. That's true. I think I can get behind that as well. So, finally, <laughs> we've gotten to the probably the most interesting one of the bunch. Alpharius and Omegon, or Alpharius Omegon. <laughs> you, you see him walk in. <laughs> he stands next to you. Judge Omegon declares you innocent. Walk out the room. Done. <laughs> He's all. All the people on the jury are sleeper agents. <laughs> just, just, you, you blink, and everyone turns into just uh, alpha legionnaires, and everyone's just bold. It's like, wait, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I, I'm going to go on here. I'm going to I'm going to make a declaration, and I'm going to explain it. I believe Alpharius firmly sits next to Horus in Innocent and Venerated. I agree with that. Because there is no way, there is no way that this guy, these two dudes, there is no way that they don't manipulate the entire fucking thing from start to finish. Whilst Omegon, sorry, whilst Alpharius is in the is in the giant suit and is stood in the courtroom, Omegon is literally planting <laughs> bombs in the houses of the judge and jury. You know, I think this. I think with Al- Alpharis and Omegon, this is it's Alpha rigged. It's completely rigged, and there is no Alpha other rolls in with a monitor on a little weedy thing, and it just shows a live feed of him in his house. <laughs> 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 no, he's going to reveal during the trial that you were actually an Alpha Legion sleeper agent. That guy was a high-profile target <laughs> of the Imperium. <laughs> Absolutely, I agree. Like the the thing is with the. Uh, uh, when, whenever you involve the uh, like alpha legionnaires, it's just everything is just going to devolve into chaos. <laughs> uh, I I think at worst, like at best, he's uh, because I didn't actually write down any placing for him because I just think that it can literally land anywhere, and it totally depends on the mood of the twins. So best case scenario. He, he's going to get you innocent and venerated. Worst case scenario, you're going to be trialed for five other crimes <laughs> you certainly did not commit. <laughs> Your Honor, we're only on trial for one murder, but what about these several other crimes? <laughs> but we have to go on the premise that they do want you to be acquitted. Yeah, we have to go on that premise. So I think. How do we know anything that the Alpha Legion wants? <laughs> because if we don't go on that premise, we have no premise, and we can't put them on the board at all. All right, so we have to. So I'm I'm putting my vote in innocent and venerated. Yeah, no, agreed. Yep. Now here's a fun one: is is these two imbeciles working together ahead of or behind the most charismatic man in the galaxy? Ahead of, definitely ahead of. <laughs> De- definitely ahead of. <laughs> ahead of. <laughs> 
because they got a whole game plan that uh, has extended on for years. They got like a, a plan for every single like turn or <laughs> they conclusion knew that guy would try that guy before that guy was even born. It's fucking. Have you guys seen that movie, uh, Law Abiding Citizen? No. no. With no. Jamie Foxx and Gerard Butler. Oh, I have. Yeah, about how the, the, about how he's sort of trying to get he's trying to get acquitted. And he's just sort of digging a hole. He's dug a hole out of all the jail cells so he can plant bombs <laughs> in the courthouse just to get the, just to get what he wants. That's literally um, how far it's an Omicron. It's similar to Bleach. If any of you guys have watched fucking Bleach, the completion of Eisen just planning everything hundreds of years in advance. It's like, hmm. Hmm. 4,000 IQ plays. <laughs> right, gentlemen, are we happy with this mm. list? Oh, uh, yes. Mm, yeah. It's it's funny it's it's funny how it's simultaneously different and also has some strong similarities <laughs> to our previous uh, uh, tier list, where it's Curse and Mortarian are furthest down. <laughs> the line as well, actually, yeah. Oh man, we'll find we'll we'll find a list for them to to thrive in at some point. I'm sure. <laughs> Best murderer, <laughs> right, gentlemen? I would like to draw this episode to a close, if we could. No. I will not allow it. We shall we'll stay here we'll forever. Start, start talking in Swedish. Everyone, don't stop. Yes, this is this is the infinite episode. It's going to be uploaded <laughs> to YouTube, and snart we're still here. Snart kommer IKEA. Snart kommer Schöttebullarna. Oh, nu kommer våra herrkur. Another Swedish episode. The episode. <laughs> He's putting a curse on us, gentlemen. He's putting a Swedish curse. Thank you very much for watching. I am the stig at sea. Kill him! Kill him now! I am Dominus Nox! Die! Bonsoir, mes chéris. Comment ça va? I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you like the podcast and you want to see more, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to like and comment. Oh, and while you're at it, feel free to follow us on our social medias, like Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Finally, join us over at our Discord and talk with me and the other free gits. Alright then, please take care and see you next time. Au revoir.